make my disc a video demonstrating donor tissue preparation by manual dissection in dissect cases made easy for beginners donor tissue can be dissected with the help of microkeratome which is a convenient technique but cost remain a limiting factor manual dissection is a cost effective technique but can be tricky especially for the beginners the aim is to obtain optimal dissection depth and minimize endothelial damage during dissection the instrument required for manual dissection includes artificial anterior chamber either plastic or metallic surgical marking pen lamellar dissector straight and curved crescent a 350 microns guarded knife and a corneal tooth forceps a plastic anterior chamber has two inlets as we can see in this video through this inlet either tissue storage medium or viscoelastic or balance salt solution or air can be injected it requires some assembly to get tight fixation of the donor tissue metallic anterior chamber is made up of steel and it also requires same type of assembly plastic anterior chamber is lighter and require an assistant to hold at the base while the dissection is being done before starting the dissection always check the donor rim diameter it should be at least 16 to 17 mm and there should be no cuts in the peripheral cornea always remember that a donor tissue thickness can vary from 500 microns to 750 microns ultrasound tachymetry can be helpful in estimating the donor tissue thickness remember thicker grafts can have increased higher order abrasions in the post operative period while thinner grafts are difficult to manipulate and can have wrinkles a superficial dissection can happen when a surgeon uses either a 15 number blade or a 300 microns guarded knife as in this video superficial dissection can be managed by cutting off the superficial layer and then start dissecting at a deeper plane deep dissection is more difficult to manage as it can result in perforation as shown in this case Also if you get a thinner tissue it is very difficult to manipulate during the surgery Getting an optimal dissection depth requires the following steps The artificial anterior chamber is filled with a viscoelastic or a tissue storage medium. The donor tissue is then gently placed over the artificial anterior chamber and then centered. After centration, the artificial anterior chamber is assembled and checked for the tightness of the graft and any leakage.
Incision is made at the limbus with a 350 microns guarded knife and it is enhanced initially with a crescent. Dissection is carried up to half of the cornea with a straight lamellar dissector. Having air bubble help in assessing depth of the dissection. Then curved lamellar dissector is used to complete the dissection. One should ensure a limbus to limbus dissection. While removing the corneal tissue at the end, decompression can happen. This can be prevented by a simple maneuver. Iris spatula is used to separate the donor tissue from the rim of the artificial anterior chamber all around. This is done until the donor tissue is freely rotating before lifting the rim. By doing this simple maneuver, decompression of the tissue can be avoided while lifting the rim. The donor tissue is then transferred to Teflon block and punch to desired diameter. By using these simple tips, you can easily do manual dissection and can get optimum thickness of the tissue and can also avoid complications.